So we continue with the men's competition here at the 2015 Winmore World Masters, coming to you live from the City Hall in Hull. We now introduce to the stage a current Swiss international. He is the reigning Luxembourg Open champion. It's Thomas Junghan. We now bring to the stage a current Dutch international. Welcome, Noppy, Danny Noppert. So uh, perhaps two people you wouldn't have been expecting to be here in this last 16, especially when you looked at the fact that they were playing Wesley Harms and Gary Robson, Scott. Well, yeah, I, I suppose for your, if you're an armchair fan, you, you wouldn't have thought this, but uh, Thomas there, Jim, Jim Whitwire, great player. Um, obviously, he's been at Lakeside, Wesley Harms, Lakeside player, so he's, he's been some talent along the way there. So... He's he's, uh, he's he's a class player. He's been at this position before in the World Masters, and and he really enjoys this place. Well, uh, as for Danny Noppen, he's already seen off Tony O'Shea, uh, Gary Robson yesterday. So another one who's uh, firing on all cylinders. Another another three late another three lakeside players there that he's beaten along the way, Danny, and he's only actually dropped one set. So, uh, but we, we know of Danny, we know of Danny in, uh, of a while back and he's one of those guys from Holland who's a fantastic player, usually right up there in the top of the Dutch rankings, but doesn't travel as much, hasn't got the sponsorship, so doesn't travel as much, so we see him qualifying for things like this and then off the floor he's, he's there and things like uh, the Zyderdown Masters, which is now the Finders Masters, so he's, he's not a new face to players, but obviously to the, to the armchair fan, Danny's one of the newer faces. Well, uh, one thing they will know is that they have got an exceptionally tough task. Whichever one of them it is that makes it through has got to face Jamie Hughes. And uh, Jamie's looked good so far, hasn't he? He has. Um, as I said to uh, John in commentary on that game, that Jamie's a no-nonsense type of player. You can do what you want to him. He just gets on and does his rhythm and his thing and, and, and tries to get not be knocked off it and, and I think that he's one of the new rising stars of our side of the game for sure uh, we uh, we interviewed uh, Jamie yesterday who said hey, look at little Richard there getting involved getting the crowd Richard why don't uh, you and the ironic thing there both ladies were taller than him yeah. and they were sat down almost young'uns young'uns is uh, from Zurich I think just below Zurich in uh, Switzerland. I uh, met Thomas a f few years back at the Swiss Open when I was lucky enough to win it that year. Are you going to drop that in? Won anything, won anything else recently? Do you want to talk about any winning anything else recently? Or? Well, no, I won it the year after as well. Oh, nice one, talk about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, lovely that. <laughs> Youngins and Noppet. Fighting it out for a place in the quarterfinals. And there's our army of Swiss fans. 100. Danny Maguire, 100. At the moment, it's pretty much even Stevens here. But against the darts, Nuppert looking to try and steal this first leg. First to three sets, of course. That's a great dart for young'uns. 
So Jungen's handily placed, if not Bart should miss this 60, so it's double top for first blood. 50. Thomas, you so, six. it's Jungens who goes 16. Oh, it's double 12. Two doubles to finish. Showman shot. I'm sure he didn't mean the first one, but he definitely meant the second one. Well, as we said, one of the winners of these will have to uh, face off against Jamie Hughes, who we're going to hear from. He's with John. Yes, Jamie Hughes here in the quarterfinals, but uh, not an easy uh, match that, Jamie. A bit harder than your first round game. Yeah, you know, I, I struggled with the pace of his throw, to be honest. I, there was a lot of time in between throws, so I'm, I was just glad to get the win in the end because it was a very tough match. And he had one dart at tops to go two sets to nil up, and he was right on the wire, so it could have been so different. Yeah, yeah, that, that was a massive turning point in the match. It's very hard to come from Tilno there, and I've done it before bigger than that, but it's still a tough ask. So, to, for me to make it one apiece, that was uh, probably the biggest moment in the match. And in the last eight, you were runner-up last year, you think you can go even better now? Yeah, yeah, and I'm a year smarter, a year wiser, and a year better than last year, so hopefully I can win it this year. There you are, Alan. Jamie says he can win it this year. Back to you. Who am I? Who am I to tell Jamie Hughes he can't win it this year? Uh, and he's right, though, isn't he? You're, you, you're a year older, you're a year wiser, you're a year more experienced. Is he just boxing a little bit more clever this year? No, I think he's, he's doing everything it says in the tin. I think um, he, he is that year wiser. He's playing slightly different. He's, he's made himself more difficult to beat. And I think that's the name of the game. And uh, and he's worked that out. And he's he's always been difficult to beat. But now, so um, with the confidence that he has, that's going with the with the know-how, he, he is a, a big threat for this this title. Oh, double eighteen there for Norfolk would have seen him check out on one oh eight. Left himself thirty six here. Youngins might go bull. <laughs> He'll have a step back here and think about it. That wasn't the intended target at all. Oh, he's hit the treble 20, so it's double 19. He's just a bit shy. Technically hit the double 19, but just the numbers on the outside, they don't count. No. 36 left. Double nine. His eyes fixated on the double. And nails it. And nails it. So, uh, one apiece. Both holding the throw to start this match uh, both have only ever got as far as the quarterfinals here at the World Masters which one of them will reach it this time round you have to say Scott I know we're only two legs in but this looks like one of those that's going to be very very tight both very solid throwers and, and, and sort of straight up and down with the action. So, you know, th there's there's not a great deal that can go wrong. And, and you find that a lot of players like that, it then can only go wrong in your head and then it's easy to spot. Yeah, nothing erratic so far. Our best two boys are Matthew and Hayden. What about me and Scott? Well, obviously they don't know us well enough yet. Here we go. He's going down. Not your average route, but uh, he'll take that. Left himself 50. That's an unlucky ricochet off the flight there. 57. Thomas, he required 50. Will he, will he go bull? 25. Double 12. 26. Well, he knew he had a, a bit of breathing space to go bull, but uh, you'd have just gone for out there, wouldn't you? I think I'd have fancy two darts or something. Um, maybe not one of them the ball being the ball, but uh, like you say, you know, Danny's back on two four four. Um, that's that's left him one five nine. So he's got these and he's going to be back, but he doesn't need them. Um, yep, still flabbergasted there. But then I can't say too much because probably people were flabbergasted at my seventy six, which John's already brought up about five times to <laughs> me this morning. I was going to say, Youngins is in the second round, me and you aren't, so uh, we'll let him tell us what he wants to do. Maybe that's the way you do it in Switzerland. Maybe it is. Yeah. Um, Bit of gentlemanly, uh, always go for the ball. 
it, it could well be, you know, in, in different parts of the world, <laughs> we do things very differently here in England. So, um, you know, I suppose it's, it's double 25, isn't it? So it's a double. So maybe that's the way that uh, Thomas looks at that. So I'll probably have words with him about it that later. So the, uh, the 24-year-old Dutchman from uh, Jure, which is uh, near Herenveen, the winner of the 2013 Dutch Open, finds himself one set down here. But, uh, Jungen's first visit this time around wasn't great. Steady ton there, but uh, that means that Noppert is already some 59 ahead with these three in his locker. 60. Didn't really capitalise on that. That's better from Youngens. We'll be trying to draw on the confidence he's got from winning that first set. 59. And again, Noppert doesn't capitalise on a slight lead so uh, and doesn't get himself into a finishing position either. Good news for the man from Switzerland. What? Thomas is quite a quiet guy off the board. And, you, and, you, and you're one of those guys that you wonder, how does he find the fire in the belly to, to do what he does uh, when he puts his foot to the hockey? But um, he's very focused and, and, you know, his darts is his darts. And uh, he started well this match. I was always told to watch out for the quiet ones. Maybe that's the, uh, the silent assassin. Well, here he like. goes again for double top. And he hasn't missed it. Oh, a little way to the crowd there. He's really getting into this. There's a potential, he might smile at some point, but we'll keep you updated on that one. Youngins, though, is serious business. Maybe they're uh, maybe we're banking on the man from Zurich making it in to the next round. I said this might be tight, but at the moment, Youngins has just stepped it up a little. And uh, Danny Noppert just struggling to keep hold. A lovely Superman logo there, like that. I think that one there is for Sven Verdonk. For Sven, indeed. I don't think it's Goran Eriksson. Let's not talk about him. <laughs> Let's not talk about him. 97. A good pick up there again on the treble 19 on the switch from Jungens. And not, that, not quite finding the range. With the ease that he found it in the first set. Youngens, the, uh, the winner of this year's Luxembourg Open. 99. Noppert needs a big dart here. 60. Didn't get it. Slightly under through that one. It was the chance to hit the first two above, and maybe he was moving forward a little just as he released the dart. 60. If you're not stable when you release from the throw, then obviously if you lean forward an inch on your throw, that can be two inches by the time the dart gets to the board. This is better for Noppert. A lot better, in fact. Youngens, though, with a 160 potential. He'll get two goes, and he'll need it. Well, he tidied that up nicely. Not that needs, you would think, another 140 here to put himself in. Slight, slight adjustment. But a 125 has put the pressure back on Youngens. Yeah, not but the last two visits will put the pressure on, but Youngens doesn't seem to be feeling any of it. Oh, pierces the, pierces the lips together. He knows that is close. 73, Danny Uruguay. <laughs> well, for a casual one. And Noppert's last two visits might have put him in the driving seat here for this leg, and it has done. Well, Noppert turned that round from a big distance behind, and it was one of those adverts for just keep on going because he could have given up. He was a long way back. Two great visits kept him in contention, as you said, put the pressure on. All of a sudden, Youngens did something we haven't seen him do so far, which was make a mistake, and Noppert capitalised. Now we're going to see how, how that's going to affect Thomas, 
because that really can get in your head and how that will affect him is how Danny starts the leg and, and not that started poorly 43 so so Thomas will be thinking well I can get that back now straight away but you mustn't try too hard to get it back because it won't happen yeah, this is the this is the bit where that experience kicks in, isn't it, Scott? You, you've got to be able to not just do the dart on the ball, but mentally you've got to be able to walk up there and go, I need, I need to really drive home my advantage here. He's going to be struggling from that last leg. I need to capitalise on it and make his brain keep ticking over. He's letting him straight off. He has, and, and Thomas has hit that 140, and now and now not a, it's, it's going over in his head again, like it was before he hit the 57. Whoa. And that, that is a superb last start. Those are the things that happen to you, and you go, you know what, it starts to go in your head. This isn't my day today. How has he hit that? All you need one is to go in the treble 20 now off a of flight sideways, and, and, and that, will, that would do his head. It would just fry him. Well, that people getting themselves into the City Hall here in Hull. Ready for a, a darting day. Youngins. Bit of a slip up there. Noppet still trailing, having led off in this leg. But a 140 there. Lots of smiley faces. Look at that, they're sat with their idol. I saw big hugs between those guys a little bit earlier on. And now Youngins has lost one out the board as well. The thing we've got to pick up on here is Noppart's left himself 159. That was a crazy dart. An absolute crazy dart. And he'll be ruining that fact and it'll be going through his head right now. And even more so now that he's at a five. 82. What a final dart though. Is it too little too late in this second leg though? Can we get a 136 checkout from Youngens? So, pressure on the knockout 77. Could this be the turning point in the match? It's 18 now for double top. To stop himself going two sets down, possibly. The Youngins here would have one foot in the next round if he can get himself two sets up. And he's done just that. Third set, first leg, Thomas to the first, game on. Noppert has his opportunities there, didn't he? It's only one dart, but if it goes in, it just changes the, the whole game. Thomas really has got his tail up now, and he's away. It's wagging. Whoa. Oh, it's barking, wagging, and doing circles now. Thomas Youngens got himself up there. Only Pickering's in, apparently. 60. But so is Thomas Youngins. Never mind anybody else. He'll be in the street saying, Do you know who I am? I'm Thomas Youngins. Youngins. They'll know who he is, mate. They'll know who he is. He he will. What age like that. I'll tell you what, Jamie Hughes will be looking on. He'll. Uh, if Youngins carries on like this and makes his way into the quarter final, that promises to be a cracker. The way they're playing, 93 6 1 is his uh, average, and there you can see that's the downfall for Nopp at 81 72. A little turn of the head there from the first start, but he, he's got nothing to worry about from where the next two went. You can hear the crowd appreciatively of that recovery. This can happen, this can happen when you relax and you 2 0 up and everything's going your way. But with this game, it can spin on a pinhead, it really can, the way that these sets work. But I don't think it's going to happen in this leg. 58. A, uh, a 40 required for Thomas Youngens to take another Four leg. Five. And you can just see from the facial expression of Noppet there, he is not a confident man right now, and it's not going to get any better. Just casual one dart finishing from Youngins there. Straight up, straight out. He is nearly, nearly there. A 13 dart leg as well. I mean, just what the doctor ordered there to hold your own throw to, to convince your opponent you ain't going to give it up. Yeah. A 24-year-old Dutchman does come to the board near a 140, and he can do much more than that. He needs to follow that up with another decent score here to try and stay in this game 
The mindset that you can get in here, being the player that's leading, is that, ah, this leg doesn't matter. I can let him have this leg and I can go and get my own leg. But with this format, if that then happens and you start badly, all of a sudden it will turn on its head. You know, we have seen it. Thomas looks really confident. And, and look at those, those stats. I mean, since the first... Since the first leg of a 20 dart leg, I mean, nothing's been over 18. I mean, it's been a fantastic game. It's very easy to say that Danny's not playing his game, Mr. Knopf out here, but, I mean, this is what he's playing against. 13, 15, 17, 13. It's fantastic darts. I saw, uh, I saw Cody Harris yesterday. Couldn't do anything because Scott Waits was in such good form. Actually, Cody Harris got beat 3-0 and so didn't do anything wrong. It can happen, and those are the games that are very hard to accept. So, we've got Knopfart now has got 100 left. He's got to hit that 60. 99. So, tops up when he returns. Youngen's way back on 2-4-1. As you say, maybe Youngen's has uh, realised with the darts he can win the entire game. And he still bangs a 140, and just to put that little bit of pressure onto Danny Knopfart. Double ten, double five, right smile. Oh, wow. Well, you thought that Knopfett would check out there to make it one apiece in this third set. But maybe, just maybe, the pressure really has got to him. Double tops here. Oh, nearly a 101 check out for uh, Youngens. Pressure on again for Knopfett, though. He's got to get out here. That was for the match, Jürgen. He was just so nonchalant. So, Thomas has got to start this leg now. I thought that he was quite happy to let him have that. And uh, halfway down the, the leg. And uh, now we're in a set decider. And anything can happen. Oh, see, that's a deflected dart. And, and that was just looking like a ton all over it. And if not, I can just step on that and put the pressure straight back on Jürgen's. It's a different game. Knoppert's got to find the darts that he found in that last leg to take it. He's got to do it again, and he can draw it back to 2-1. Failure, failure to throw good darts here in this, and it's all over, all she wrote. But Youngens finds a, a hundred himself. Well, it was a heartbreaking last treble 20 there. I mean, Danny would have been thinking, oh, he's got 40 Six in the board, a one or a five he would do, and he had a treble 20, which looked blocked. And these are the things that start going through your head as a player when you stood there watching. Or even again, 341 apiece. 60. And a 60 from Young, so another opportunity. The window opens once again for Danny Noppert here. Put some real pressure on the man from Zurich. That's a good dart. And that's a good time as well. Those last two might be the difference between staying in or going home. It could be because Thomas would be thinking, you know, after that first leg of this set that oh, I've got this in the bag now. And here we go. Look, the pressure has, has, has been turned straight back onto him. And he'll be, be thinking while he stood behind him. And now all of a sudden Danny started it in the 60s with his first dart. Oh, Youngens is last because he hasn't thrown anything like that in the entire game. And then all of a sudden, as Scott Mitchell saying there, tiny bit of pressure, but what a comeback this could be. Brilliant. Youngens looked like he was uh, feeling a little bit nervous with the potential place in the quarterfinals up for crabs. Nerves? What nerves? I have got no idea what I am talking about. <laughs> I have got to get my mindset like Thomas Youngens, I think. Bullseye for Nopper. Oh, lucky. It was ball to potentially stay in the competition. Youngens' 180 has put him right back in the mix. Treble 8. He's got everybody thinking. One. Double top. Oh, he's missed it. Well, the 180 was sublime. The treble 8 was ridiculous. I think he was going treble 11, double 16, but it's double eight now. Double four to, to stay, stay in the in. competition. Seven oh, he's three. missed it. Danny Nopper. Well, it'll reflect on this. If this double 10 goes in. No score. Oh, my word. These two. Well, Youngens doesn't want to win it.
Noppert doesn't want to stay in it. Now, finally, the Dutchman does indeed take his first set of the game. Is that the moment he needs? With these two, I have no clue. Unbelievable. What was he thinking? What was he thinking? Two double four at that stage in the match. He got two darts in his hand. He needs one double five with two darts. My goodness. I don't think of it. I thought, well, no, that's terrible. I can't believe that. Well, it's, uh, it is all going over the place here. Youngins and Noppet have, uh, well, if the entertain does too, if nothing else, uh, Youngins starts with a 60. Noppet got off to a cracking start. His tail will be wagging. Oh, didn't need that. What drama, what drama. Two double four, I, I can't go over it, I can't forget it. I can't forget it and I'm not even throwing. What, you know, I've, I've, I've kind of, I think I had a moment like that yesterday, to be fair. <laughs> And I'm you still shaking it backwards, you mean? <laughs> yeah, I, it, I, that one's even got me. I mean, it'll stop people talking about me anyway, <laughs> if nothing else. Well, I'm on with John a little bit later. I'm going to ask John if he's ever seen anything like that. That's, uh, that is beyond. But anyway, we move on, we digress. We move on. These people want to see who makes it into the last 16. I thought we were going to find out quite simply. I thought Thomas Youngins was going to do it nice and easy. But uh, he made life difficult for himself, and here we are. We're into a fourth set. And uh, Noppert has the advantage. Youngins is... Well, he looked as calm as anything a little bit earlier on. Now, all of a sudden, complete change in character, complete change in darts. Absolutely. Um, and and Noppy's still not really flying he's having to chase around the board to find these trebles 55. which he's not fright frightened to do and, and the Dutch players will do that they'll, they'll quite often move with one darts in the way but um, he's, he's not prolifically scoring and he's still 200 ahead here um, because well, Thomas, well, Thomas well, has, has well, got to get his head back well, quickly well, otherwise you know it's going to be 2-2 before he knows it he's got to be careful double eight here for three straight legs for Danny Noppert 68. Well, he may get another go anyway. 155 five is a big ask. It'd be travel 21st. Now it'd be staying there to, to try and set it up. 82. Daniel require 8. Another strange doubt there. I'd have gone for the treble, but there we go. It's irrelevant in the end because Noppet does indeed win his third straight leg. When he went 1 0 down in that third set, you felt that it was. No, no, for Danny Noppert, he was going to join us at the bar a little bit later on. But uh, Youngins, well, he hasn't had a sniff since. And a 60 start. We'll, uh, we'll have Noppert thinking, I can do it. I can do this. 59. So, I tell you what, for the viewers, this is a great game. Absolutely, but anybody that's attached to either player, this is a nightmare. This, Maybe you know, some of the purists well, aren't enjoying it either, but uh, it certainly makes great TV. Youngers have got to find something here. Having, having bossed the game, he's got to dig deep and find something here. You know, he's got to get inside that head of his and, and, f and forget what's happened. Because Noppart certainly has. Unlucky. Nearly a 180. Youngers through first, finds himself... 49 back. 100. That's a steadier. It's steady enough. Straight in. To the treble 20s again here, and Noppet has found a real renewed sense of belief. Both these guys have not had a lot of TV stage time, so that could be playing as well. They're playing its part in this match. 100. Danny so it's not part then, treble 20 to start. So it's treble 19 for the bullseye. It's bullseye for not part. And what a turnaround. Wow. Not with a 167 chance there. Good start for Youngins. He needs another one of those. 140. 
Pressures the shot, so Noppa will probably go. Oh, he's got two for double top. He slided it down the barrel, surely. For a fourth straight oh, leg. Oh, that was a big chance for Noppa to equal this game up and take us into a deciding set. Youngins is away, away here. And now leaves himself one dart it to take it. And we might just be getting... We might just be getting our fifth set. Danny, you acquired 20. Are we seeing Youngens here as a front runner? Is that what it is? So it's double 10. Double five. Maybe neither of them wants to play Jamie Hughes. Jamie won't be worried about this, I don't think. That's for fact. It might have been early doors, the way Youngens came out and, and went at it. But these two have just felt the pressure just from each got, other I think got to collect himself here he's got one dart at this Four. you can see the face of Thomas Youngins who cannot simply cannot believe the scenario he's now got himself into Noppet needs and he's He's just about hidden the entire double two and he's looking at the ground trying to compose himself he has got to find the smallest of areas and hit this double two which he doesn't and again instead of leveling up youngins has a chance to equal this set this is harem scarem darts this is he's done the same as danny Noppet. but he's now going for the other end of the bit i mean everybody that's played in a pub knows the longer that this goes on the harder it is to hit oh wow just about held his nerve. Thomas Youngins equals us all up in this fourth set. It's one apiece. We're either all square or Noppet goes home. It's as simple as that one. And the pressure's all on Noppet here, having having just failed in that leg. Thomas will be feeling that he wouldn't shouldn't be getting a go with this leg, and that may be enough to compose him. It may be enough to compose him to bring the game home. Well, that'll be a boost. Noppet's first start there will certainly help him. The second one is a belter. He's got the right massive gap in the middle. Oh, slotted home beautifully from Danny Noppet. Advantage Netherlands here. 60. He's got to keep that pressure on now. He needs to take this leg. Great dart there to draw his level at two apiece. We've had some humdingers. I can't wait to interview the winner of this one is. Whoever that might be. Well, we better get our coins out and start flipping them if we want to know, I think, the way that this game is going. And now here's Thomas back in the 60. He needs another one to pressure the 129. Danny Maguire, 129. Bit of rock, paper, scissors might help us out a little bit later on in the day. It's a little wayward from Noppet. Problem is, I'll always be rock. My hands have been tight clenched, my fists since the start of this match. 64. So Youngens doesn't have a finish. So Noppet leaves himself 65 to win this leg. And again, Youngens, 85. that last one just puts a bit of pressure onto Danny Noppet. There's the bully wanted earlier. Double six. Game. He's got it. Well, he made, the, uh, he made his check out in the last leg. Drawn out beyond belief here. Checks out 65. His three darts used them all very wisely. Where are we going now then, Scott? We're down to just one final set. We thought it was all over. Where are we going now? And this has all come from having two darts in your hand and not chancing yourself at double five. 57. You're not going to let that go, are you? <laughs> well, I, 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 as a dart player, you fancy a go at anything, really, but to win a game, I, I would. But, uh, yeah, that's still fathom me. I think that'll probably fathom me for a few days after, and I'm sure it will get Thomas if he loses this game. Not put after all the effort and endeavour he's put in here to get himself to two apiece has started this first leg horrifically that final dart at least at least will help the cause those doubles percentages there are not good for, from one leg alone unfortunately but probably for us it was one of the exciting legs of the game 
117. Fantastic recovery. Fantastic recovery. A good turn of corner there. Mentally to turn that, that 200 corner at that position will be in Notart's mind now. And he needs to find something seconds. quick. And it's not coming. And there again, as you uh, you said a little bit earlier, not, a, not afraid to travel around the board and try and find those trebles. That's not one that Youngins would have wanted. Looking at those... Uh, a darts there, 94. I said nothing but much over 18, and then we have a 19, a 19, a 24, and then a 15. So, uh, yeah, One shows the t intensity of the match, I think. Great last two darts from Danny Knopper, just to put a smidge of pressure on Thomas Youngins here. He's still a massive ask at 167, but double 12 here. Bam. No pressure. And it's right next door to double five. That's what I don't understand. Maybe that's just a little bit too far up. 121. Good start. Noppet needs that. He needs that. He has to hold his throw here. But look at this from Thomas Youngens. A 140 from him. I think he seems to have found his mojo again here. He's back to that composed... I know what I'm doing, Thomas, that we had in the first two sets. Six. At one point, I think he'd left his mojo down there with the man with the cone on his head. I don't, I, I don't think we could talk about that. But there you go. One hundred and no, we're not, you know, we're not, we're not helping out any marital disputes. Here, Youngins leads. Noppet has to find a big dart here. 60. Just on the top of the wire. Hashtag Dart. Hashtag Thomas Youngins. Ironically, ironically, just over uh, Youngins' right shoulder there. That's where all the Swiss 60. contingent are up against the pillar. And uh, they were jumping up and down, waving signs about earlier. I think he's put a few doubts in their mind because they're, they're, they're sat tight. You see Regula there um, uh, sat chewing her fingers. 47. Might have to get a brush and sweep up all the nails. 161 uh, one, then to take him through what earlier looked like a very comfortable task for Thomas Youngens. 100. Great last start, leaves himself 61, but not put back here on 213. He has to conjure up something magical. Otherwise, all that effort to level it up at two apiece One comes to absolutely nothing, finds a big last start himself. Could be put. Could be bully here or could he be treble 15? He's gone treble 15. So it's double 18 for the match. I have to say, what fantastic composure in the end from Thomas Jungens. Because he, he nearly self-destructed there. I mean, that was all his own doing, the two sets to knock up. How many times do you see somebody go two up? and then lose 3-2 because the confidence never comes back. All of a sudden, it got back square, and then Youngens just started playing exactly like he did when he went 2-0 up. Unbelievable stuff. That's our amazing game though, mate. That's what it does to you. And obviously, our families and friends and supporters, it doesn't do them a lot of good, to be fair, but Youngens wins it, 3-2. Well, an emotional roller coaster for